Hey you guys, it's your girl Truly Jam back and I'm coming back to show you guys how to turn your badge holders into um into pins. So let's get started. Okay, so what you're gonna need is of course your badge reel of your of your liking. Um, I showed you guys where I got my badge rules from, and I'll try to leave it in the description below. But all of my badge rules come in a package like this, all of them individual. I get a hundred at a time. Um, I like to get the clear, but sometimes I get colorful ones. I always drop this thing. Okay. <laughs> So you're going to need your badge reel and you're going to need this because I'm going to use the quick dry resin for this tutorial too. You're going to need your pens, which I got these from Hobby Lobby and they were on sale. It was like, uh, I think it was 50 in here for like a dollar or something because I don't know if they're going out of business or what because um, they've been having like crazy sales and also... On my last tutorial that's probably posted already, um, I showed you guys that I had this to do a tutorial on. Now these pearls, which are beautiful, the camera is not showing you guys how beautiful they are. They're one pound of pearls and they were $18. But they're, they were on, I used a 40% coupon. So I only paid $10.40 and cent for this big old box, bucket. And... I had to do a whole bunch of these pins. Um, here's just some of them that I had to take apart. So I'm going to show you guys how to take them apart. And how you can stick on these properly. You're going to need a total of... They come in three different sizes. So this is the smaller size. I don't know how big it is. This looks like a 3 millimeter. This looks like a 5 or a 6. And this like a 8 or nine millimeter but I'm not sure because it doesn't say on the bucket so um, yeah I'm gonna be using the smaller ones and then this one on the actual class as in this now everybody asks some well not everybody but people ask me like why don't you do it all the way down the reason I don't do that is because um, when you get your name tag at work or whatever you're using this for, what I made these for was not for work purposes. It was for business purpose, and this is what the employees was going to wear, what I made. So um, I put this into the what they carry their name tags in. So when you do that and you add a lot of embellishments, it's hard for this part to get through that little piece but if you're selling or making or for yourself or giving away and you want to do it all the way around and you get the little clear sheet sleeve <clears throat> the little ID pocket and you put it on there and then you do your rhinestones all the way around it that's perfectly fine because they'll just keep putting their stuff in that they won't have to keep taking this off so that's why I don't do it to answer your questions um <clears throat> yeah so let's get started so the way I get this thing off is oh okay I forgot to tell you how you need it okay so you need this you need the um pins you need the UV resin you need the torch you'll need 25 of the small beads and then I always take one extra one out just in case but I know it's 25 because I make so many and then you'll need one of the second to the biggest bead you need your pick-me-up tool and you'll need um, your flat nose pliers jewelry pliers and I'm gonna show you why because I didn't take out And you'll need one of these so I'm just gonna recreate what I made um, first of all I take this off and this is what you need the needle nose pliers for 
Now I just scrape it off like that. And the way I pull it off, I don't really have to file it like that, but I do file it sometimes if it's sharp. But yeah, this is a two-in-one, so it has the cutters and the um, pliers. So I'm using the cutters right now to cut that off flatter. Now, how I take this off <coughs> is I take my flat nose part, I put it back here, and I wiggle it around just a little bit. Then I pop it right out. So that's how you pop it out. And you can always keep these just in case another project come up. I was just keeping them because I'm just, I'm not a hoarder. My son tried to say I'm a hoarder, but I'm not. So let's get started. Now, <clears throat> we're going to take some of this. I'm going to get it all over there. It's hard for me to see. <clears throat> all right. <clears throat> now. Mine look like a big one. I guess I was just working with the little pearls. So these pearls are like way bigger. There's 25 of these little ones. At least how fast you should be going. Because it shouldn't take you all day <laughs> just to make this. I'm going to put four in the middle. <clears throat> and then I look at it. Now it should be nine. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nine, twelve, thirteen. Okay, that's thirteen. I wonder why. Maybe I counted wrong. I don't know. I was doing so many of these things, y'all. Uh, it wasn't even funny. Okay, now I'm going to set it. Alright, they're set. Now, <clears throat> I'm going to go around to the sides. So hard for me to see like this, guys. One, two, three. <clears throat> oh. 
I find that when it's really wet, it'll stick. But if it's not really wet, it ain't sticky. <clears throat> torch this make sure it's straight And then I'm gonna keep going because we're almost done. Isn't that crazy? Oh man. See my battery getting low. Alright, you guys, we're gonna have to hurry this up. String off when I finish. <clears throat> oh man. Didn't have enough. So I'm just gonna pour some of this out. Make sure they're lined up. <coughs> Torch it. Oh no. Make sure they are all fixed before you guys torch it. All right. So now this is how this is what we have so far. Now we're going to take it <coughs> And what I do, is you see the little two lines, we're going to put some of this right there like that. <clears throat> and then I'm going to take the clip, and I had them open it this way. So I'm put it down, and I want to make sure it's right angle, and then I'm going to torch it. <clears throat> And once you have it flat torch long enough, you t tilt it up, torch it underneath on each side, the bottom, around the side, because once this is stuck, it is stuck. <clears throat> and that's what you have. Now, I have this little piece. And I'm going to put a little bit of resin here. <clears throat> and then I'm going to take it. And I had the hands tilting. Uh, this is going to be a disaster because I used E6000, but I didn't clean up my thing. <clears throat> so I had it at an angle. Stuck. 
and then make sure it's coming out and then I took <clears throat> a little bit here <laughs> and then I got a bigger the next upsize bead and then torched it <laughs> <clears throat> and this thing that I made it for is for an organization called Pearl and Prayer which is for women um, it's a women organization and it uplifts women um, they give you courage it, it just talks to you about a lot of things God um, how to eat how to do for your body like you're supposed to um, it's a really good organization you guys um and I go whenever I can, whenever they have a get together, whenever I can go. But yeah, it's a very good organization. So it's pearls and prayer. So that's why I made the pearls with the praying hands. And it is ready to be worn by one of the members. And this is how you open it. And then this is like a retractable closable one. So once you put it in there, it closes on its own. But that's how you do it, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Um, let me know what you think. Like, share, and subscribe. Thumbs up these videos. Let me know what you guys want to see next. Um, all comments are welcome. And as always, you guys, have a blessed night. I don't think I forgot anything else. <laughs> But yeah, pearls and prayer came out beautifully. Thank you guys. Bye.